Good afternoon and welcome. My name is Father Steve Connor of Holy Trinity Episcopal Church in Ocean City, New Jersey. And this is Wiley, and this is another installment of our Wednesdays with Wiley. Here we are in the week between Christmas and New Year's. It's that wonderful week where parties still happen, people still get together. The lines of returns and exchanges are long in the stores or at the post office or the UPS store as we return things that were purchased online. It's also the time when we begin to think about the new year, 2023. There's always something exciting about a new year, as if there's new adventures, more than likely, new opportunities, more than likely, all kinds of wonderful things. And of course, for some of us, it could also be a bit fear-making or make us somewhat uh, cautious about the new year. But if you're like many people, including myself, Wiley, do you do any New Year's resolutions? I don't think so. But we begin to think about what we might want to change about ourselves or about our lives in the new year, 2023. And I've made the mistake many times of making New Year's resolutions that are so grandiose, so monumental, there's no way I'm going to be successful. There's no way I'm going to lose the 25 pounds that have followed me since I turned 50. There's no way I'm going to suddenly have the muscles I've always wanted. It's not going to happen. And so last week when we did Wednesdays with Wiley, we talked about being gentle with yourself. And I think in New Year's resolutions, that's the key advice. Be small. Set small goals. Instead of saying, I'm going to lose 25 pounds in the first month, perhaps say, I'd like to you lose three pounds within January and three pounds within February. And instead of saying, I'm going to go to the gym, gym six days a week, maybe start off by saying, I'm going to go to the gym twice a week. Or I'm going to call my mother more often. Well, make it specific. I'm going to call my mother once a week or once a month. I think when we, we take what we want to change and do it in different sets of goals, it is very helpful because we want to feel successful. We want to feel like we're actually getting to that goal we established. Now, Wiley here doesn't know it, but we had a New Year's resolution for him. He was getting a little finicky about eating. He didn't want to eat his food. He would sniff it and walk away. He's never been a voracious eater. He's never been one of those dogs that you put the food down and he attacks it. He always kind of gently goes up, smells it, does a little dance, then he might start eating. Well, we changed his food to a food that is all natural, made of broccoli and carrots and meats, all chopped up. And suddenly, Wiley is a bit changed. His energy has increased. His, uh, his appetite is steady now. He eats when we put the bowl down. It was a small change, but it's having bigger repercussions. Some of that puppy energy he had, had, and now is in full bloom, is back. He's running around. He's chasing his toys. Last night, he got a new toy for Christmas, an octopus. And that octopus has been by his side since he got it. So be gentle with yourself, especially with your New Year's resolutions. Set your goals and then set increments in between. Because our God doesn't want perfection. Our God knows that to seek perfection is to constantly feel less than. 
To seek perfection is to constantly feel like you're not reaching that mark. So set those goals small. Make them real. Make them attainable. And then, as the year progresses and you begin to look at what you established now and you succeed, see the success you've had, you will be amazed. As I said, our God has already made us perfect in God's image and likeness. God knows he doesn't want us to be perfect. He wants us to be faithful. Like Wiley's changed diet or my desire to lose those 25 pounds that have been following me since I turned 50. And now Wiley has decided it's time for him to leave. He's looking at me from the couch kind of askance, like, I'm not going to sit there anymore. So be gentle with yourself with your New Year's resolutions. This is a poem I found online by a poet I've never heard of. Charles Rezignoff was a poet who lived in Brooklyn. He was born in 1894. The title of the poem is Te Deum which is Latin for God, we praise you. He writes, Not because of victories I sing, having none, but for the common sunshine, the breeze, the largest of the spring. Not for victory, but for the day's work done, as well as I was able. Not for a seat upon the dais, but at the common table. May God bless you this day. May God's face shine upon you and be gracious to you. And may God bless us, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. I wish you a joyful and happy new year, full of health and laughter and all the good things that our world and God gives us. Wiley is now taking a nap. I guess that's one of his New Year's resolutions. He's going to suddenly get up in the middle of Wednesdays with Wiley and go to sleep. Have a wonderful afternoon. God bless.